Set of tools required in order to open up your PlayStation 3 FAT system, you need Phillips 0, Phillips number 1, Phillips number 2, Phillips number 3, screw bit of screwdriver, you need Torx T10 screw bit of screwdriver, you can either use micro turn precision screwdriver or small Phillips flathead screwdriver. Uh, if this is your first time opening up your PS3 console, best is to use a marker so that you can mark down where all the screws go and when you try to put it back together it will make the job a lot easier. Other very important handy thing to have is this small utility component storage box. PS3 has, has a, quite a few uh, different types of screws, uh, so best is to use one of these utility boxes so that you can put uh, where all these different types of screws go and then when you try to put it back together it will make the job a lot easier. Okay, let's get going. Let's open up your PS3, step 1, um, let's remove the hard drive, remove the hard drive cover first and remove this blue screw using your uh, Phillips screwdriver. Simply push it that way and slide it out. So the hard drive has been removed. Next, um, remove the warranty sticker. Remove the rubber pad and remove the only Torx screw using your Torx T10 screwdriver. We are now able to slide out our top cover, so simply slide it out. Next, remove this clip. Next, we'll be removing all these Phillips screws. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and then there are two screws holding the power supply. So take all these screws off. Once all these screws have been removed, we are now able to lift up our top cover. All you need to do is just there's a clip here, simply grab your micro turn precision screwdriver, unclip it, and we are able to lift it up. But just be very careful as there is one ribbon cable connected. That's the memory card unit cable, so disconnect it, remove it, and our top cover is separated. At this stage, if there's a lot of dust, best is to grab your cleaning dust cleaning brushes and clean up all the dust as much as you can. Okay, so grab a dust cleaning brush and try your best and clean up as much as you can. Next, we'll be removing power supply, Blu-ray drive, memory card unit and power reset switchboard. Let's remove the Blu-ray drive first. Disconnect the cable, power cable first. And disconnect the ribbon cable. Unclip it and remove it. Next, we'll be removing the memory card unit and the Wi-Fi module attached to it. Okay, so there are... Peeling this off. Disconnect this cable first. Remove these four screws and take off this screw as well. Simply take it out. Next, we'll be removing the power reset switchboard. So, disconnect the cable first and take out these four screws. Next, we'll be removing the power supply, disconnect the power cable, and remove these screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. Simply pull it up. Possible has been removed. Next, let's remove all these cables. First, disconnect the Blu-ray drive cable. Be very gentle with this connector. Simply remove the cable. Remove the Blu-ray drive power cable.
Oh, the power is a switchboard cable. And the memory card unit cable. Next, we'll be removing these screws uh, in order to separate the fan and the motherboard from the bottom tray. And two Phillips medium screws located here. One, two. Next, we'll be removing these four screws and removing these two bars here. Next, simply pull it up. So bottom cover. Next, we'll be removing this AC inlet switch. So there are three clips at the bottom, and there are two clips here. Simply unclip these, and we're able to separate the AC inlet. Okay, so this comes off. Next, flip it over and we'll be removing these two screws, removing the power cable and the battery. So now we are able to remove the fan, so simply pull it up. Remove the battery. Next, let's remove this top, this metal plate first. Simply slide it out. And let's remove this metal. Plate. Simply pull it up. And separate it from these connectors. That's how motherboard separated. Thanks for watching the videos. Please go to gc-repairs.com to purchase all the tools and accessories you need. Thank you.